Hey, it's Fletch with the E911 Talk Podcast, episode 241, recorded Sunday, April 12th, 2015, right here on APN, the Avaya Podcast Network. You're listening to the Avaya Podcast Network. Now, here's your host, Mark Fletcher. Each year, the second full week of April is dedicated to the men and women who serve as public safety telecommunicators. But there's an interesting backstory, as was told to Christina L. Dravis, RPL and ENP, by someone I'm proud to call a colleague and friend, Lisa Hoffman. And that story is what I'm going to share with you today. In the historic days of dispatch, when they were called dispatchers, and 911 was not yet fully deployed in the United States, public safety telecommunicators were very much heard and not seen. However, since 1955, the work of administrative assistants, back then they were called secretaries, was celebrated. And in 1981, the last week in April was dedicated to that purpose. Contra Costa County Sheriff Richard Rainey was determined to acknowledge his administrative staff that year by treating them all to lunch. Now, Sheriff Rainey didn't realize that it was the administration's policy to never let their business telephone lines go unanswered. After hours, the clerical and administrative lines were forwarded to dispatch to be processed basically telling callers to call back during normal business hours. Now, because these were administrative lines, it generally didn't impact the dispatch center because the amount of calls was very low. Now, at 11 a.m., without thinking, the administration staff pushed their calls to dispatch and left the building. And dispatch was caught completely by surprise when the amount of calls that they were getting suddenly jumped. And this happened while they were at minimum staffing due to a meal break. Now, the supervisor called over to the administrative side to find out what was going on, only to have their call forwarded right back to them to dispatch. She then sent the dispatcher over to the admin side of the office to tell them to turn off the automatic call forwarding. And the dispatcher came back to report that there was no one in administration. At about 1 p.m., the administrative staff came back to work and disconnected the auto-forward phone feature. Although the supervisor chose to be annoyed quietly, Patricia Anderson, a longtime dispatcher, went to the administration side to give the sheriff a piece of her mind. Sheriff Rainey apologized and promised Pat that it would never happen again. And when Pat returned to dispatch, she never said a word about her conversation with the sheriff to anyone. Now, Pat was a tenured dispatcher when Sheriff Rainey was hired as a deputy, and she was very well respected by senior sworn staff members. At 2 p.m. that same afternoon, Sheriff Rainey and Undersheriff Warren Rupp walked into dispatch with a giant, beautifully decorated cake that said, Happy Dispatcher Week. And with that very wise move, Sheriff Rainey, under Sheriff Ruff, and dispatcher Patricia Anderson started an initiative that culminated in what we now know as National Public Safety Telecommunicators Week. And Lisa completes that story with although that she was hired in April of 82, she'll always remember the sheriff or undersheriff coming into dispatch each April to thank them for their work, dedication, and professionalism. When President Clinton signed the act into law, their local celebration became a national initiative. And Pat, who was Lisa's training officer, was incredibly honored and pleased by the national acknowledgement. You know, each and every year, Nina estimates there's over 250 million calls to 911 that are answered by mothers, fathers, sisters, and brothers working odd hours of the day, every day of the week, every week of the year. We never get to call them and say, have a nice day, or even thanks for what you do. We only get to call them when our lives have fallen apart or tragedies occurred and we desperately need their help. If you know someone in public safety that's a telecommunicator, take a minute out, stop and thank them. Hopefully you'll never need them, but if you do, you can be sure that they'll be there every hour of every day. And although I'm not a frequent flyer, from that perspective, I've used them enough to know that I appreciate what they do. If you want more information about the National Public Safety Telecommunicators Week, you can visit npstw.org on the web. For the 911 Talk Podcast, this is Fletch. Thanks for listening. We'll catch you next time right here on APN, the Avaya Podcast Network. The preceding podcast has been brought to you by the Avaya Podcast Network. I'm Spider Harrison, the official voice dude of APN. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Avaya underscore APN and check us out on the web at avaya.com slash APN.